All right, this morning we are dealing with some rain, some thunder, mm -hmm. lightning too. Yeah. It's a busy day. And you you said snow. Where is it snowing, Erin? It's off in Indiana, but we could see some of that snow here in parts of Ohio. Let me start Ugh. off by showing you live Doppler 10 radar. We've got a lot going on. You certainly want to allow yourself plenty of time to head out the door this morning. Could be some ponding on the roadways, very similar to yesterday. Most of us are dealing with just all rain showers with temperatures where they are. But look off to our west. We have colder air on its way. We also have a few isolated uh, thunderstorms starting to pop up. We've been seeing that over the past couple of hours. Now it's going to be a rainy morning, but not a total washout. Newark, just north of there, a little bit of a heavier shower there. Columbus is dry for the moment, but look, the rain is not done with you yet. As we look off to our north, we're seeing Mansfield has a shower going on and just south of Marion as well. So this really is going to be the weather story for you. Lancaster, you're getting in on a light rain shower for the rest of this morning. I want to show you the direction that these are moving in, and then we're also going to show you where that snow is starting to pop up. That's because behind these showers and thunderstorms, we're going to drag a cold front through. It's going to drop temperatures down and look at this. You can see it showing up again in parts of western Indiana. So it looks like for parts of western Ohio, especially I would say northwest of 75, you could run into some of this rainy snow mix uh, for the morning hours and then it lifts off to the north and the east. So. I'd say by early afternoon, we'll start to see some drying skies. It's not going to be the prettiest day. We'll hang on to mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon hours. Now temperatures where they are right now, they are saving us from seeing snow because we're in the 40s, 45 in Columbus, 41 in Mansfield, 45 in Zanesville and a 49 in Marietta. Now the temperatures that you're seeing as you head out the door this early Thursday morning, that's as warm as it's going to get. We're not really going to see any variation from this 41 in Marion, 41 in Mansfield, 46 in Athens, 44 in Washington Courthouse, 45 in the capital city, 40 in Bell Fountain and 40 in Kenton as well. So that's it. Average high for this time of year is 55. We're running about 10 degrees below average. So the temperatures, the morning lows aren't too bad for the kids waiting at the bus stop, but they're certainly going to have to prepare for those showers. And a few isolated rumbles of thunder. It looks like right now we're picking up mostly rain showers with a few little pockets of some heavier downpours. So that could certainly reduce visibility as well. I'll tell you what good that rain does is it drops those pollen levels down. We are very low out there today, but for the next two days, we'll start to see that creep up as those skies dry out, but we like to see the pollen levels really drop off here uh, when we see those rain showers smooth through. So we're washing the uh, pollen out of the air this morning. Winds are out of the north northwest. They'll be that way. I want to show you where we're starting to see that snow pop up at nine o'clock. Most of central Ohio seeing rain. Look what's happening in Kenton just north of Bucyrus. This is where that rain snow line is, so it certainly could cause some slippery roadways and again reduce visibility. So be on the lookout for that. By noon, we're looking at drying skies. Just a few scattered showers happening, moving out of southeastern Ohio. Look what happens at six o'clock. We're seeing partly cloudy skies, so we start to see clearing through the overnight. Daytime on Friday looks dry, but it's cold tonight. Overnight lows are dropping into the mid 20s. Tomorrow we're only going to be in the 30s for afternoon high, so well below average. I wanted to show you this Friday night. Looks like we're going to get another round of light snow showers. Temperatures will certainly be cold enough to support all snow. So as you plan your day, we're looking at low 40s here with those cloudy skies tonight. Much cooler and very chilly out there. Seven day forecast. We're only going to be in the 30s for Friday into Saturday. Let's look at your Doppler 10 10 day forecast and we see temperatures starting to moderate and head in the right direction Sunday into Monday. We'll be right back right after the break. It definitely feels like winter this morning and yeah. you say it's just going to get colder. Yeah, I always have the urge this time of year to just spring clean, get the closets cleaned yeah. out and start changing the clothes. You know, it's like the changing right. of the guard. You put the winter. Don't do it. Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're going to need your winter coats. Keep them handy around for the next couple of days. Let me show you how we're starting. Now, temperatures are going to get a lot colder than what you're seeing right here. That's because we're not at the coldest part of the day. That's typically right before sunrise, which is at 724 this morning. 32 in Chillicothe, 36 in Jackson, 34 in Logan, 31s in Newark and Mansfield, 32 in Marion. Looking at 31 here in Kenton, 28 in Bell Fountain, so cooler there, 37 in Marietta, 35 in Cambridge, Delaware, 28, 29 Dublin, 30 in Westerville and Marysville, 
31 in Circleville. Winds are out of the northwest about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That always brings in that colder air. It's going to keep temperatures down all day long. Afternoon highs today are only going to be in the upper 30s. Now, we are going to be dry during the daytime, but look what we're seeing off to our north. We've got some lake effect snow showers starting to move in there near the Cleveland Lake Shore. It's not going to affect central Ohio until late this evening. It looks like we could get a few hit or miss. We're talking about light snow showers or flurries, so nothing that will accumulate, but something you may want to keep your eye on. It's Friday night. A lot of people are going to be out driving around, so keep that in mind if you start to see those flurries flying around in the evening hours. Now, for the kids at the bus stop, it's going to be chilly this morning. We're going to be dropping into the mid and upper 20s. By this afternoon, we're only going to be in the upper 30s. And by the way, Karina, we should be in the mid 50s this time of year, but we'll take a look at that Doppler 10 10 day forecast. I think we can find some temperatures like that.